either I'm Therese and I am a system buster. As a system buster, I like to read up on other system busters. I've been reading Kathy O'Brien's book about her experience as a CIA mind-controlled sex slave. O'Brien escaped thanks to intelligence insider Mark Phillips, who helped deprogram her after that. I recommend buying O'Brien's book. There are many pirated copies out there that have altered the contents. So buy directly from her website. I'm only 50 pages into the book, and there are so many names of the perpetrators who raped and brutalized her. I will be making videos of who all these people are. The reason is to ask everyone who watches them to refuse consent to this dark system and to the criminals, and to join in placing the intention that the divine powers that be hold these people to account. It is the collective awareness and intent that this system be stopped that will take it down, and that has already started. There were hearings in the 1970s and 1990s about these CIA MKUltra torture programs, also called the Monarch Program. These programs torture victims until the conscious mind exits the body, at which point the subconscious mind is accessible for the dark agents to program. In Kathy O'Brien's legal battle to regain custody of her daughter, who was tortured horrifically by these systems, the National Security Act was invoked to silence her. So she and Mark Phillips wrote Transformation in 1995. Kathy still cannot see her daughter, so this system still needs to be exposed and taken down. Now, whether you believe Kathy O'Brien and Mark Phillips or not doesn't matter. What matters is, if something like this did occur, would you give consent to it? For my first video, I want to look into Chris Christopherson because he has kind of gone under the radar. He's still alive as of 2020. He's 83 years old. Kathy O'Brien says that he repeatedly tortured and raped her. So in my opinion, he's a criminal who has not been held to account. Christopherson came from a military family, which is common among the shadow government agents. He wrote the song Bobby McGee. He's a singer, but not a very good one. So being a country singer is a good cover for being a CIA operative. Kathy first encountered him in 1979. She said he's a Vatican-based Project Monarch slave runner, which means he would transport sex slaves for the government and the Vatican, and likely abusing them at the same time. Kathy says he raped and tortured her along with U.S. Army Lieutenant Michael Aquino, including high-voltage electric shock torture. Aquino is a professed neo-Nazi and avowed Satanist. He has been implicated in every major scandal concerning organized CIA child trafficking. This is his wife, Lilith. So that's who Chris Christopherson was hanging out with. Christopherson is extremely sadistic. Kathy says in 1987, he nearly strangled me to death with his penis, which further excited him. So he's a brutal torturer. Christopherson married Rita Coolidge in the early 70s as his second wife. Coolidge sang the song All Time High, the two of them sang the song, Help Me Make It Through the Night. Here he is carrying on like a normal husband, despite a secret life as a sadistic torturer and rapist, as Kathy O'Brien says. I wonder if Rita Coolidge was MK Ultra. Her father was a minister, her mother was a school teacher, but despite this conservative background, she presents a fairly sexual demeanor. Some photos show her in see-through shirts. She dated other apparent MK Ultras, including Stephen Stills of Crosby, Stills and Nash, Crosby being another possible MK Ultra. Crosby and Stills met in Laurel Canyon. They are among the many superstars connected to Laurel Canyon, such as Jackson Brown, James Taylor, Joni Mitchell, Frank Zappa, The Birds, Jim Morrison, Alice Cooper, The Eagles, John Lennon, Linda Ronstadt, who was another possible monarch sex slave. Charles Manson was part of the Laurel Canyon scene and actually auditioned for Neil Young. The Laurel Canyon superstars are, far more often than not, the sons and daughters of the military intelligence complex and the sons and daughters of extreme wealth and privilege. So we have ties to the military among suspected MKUltra slaves. 
there is a long list of deaths of people connected to Laurel Canyon, who often died under mysterious circumstances. The list includes Jim Morrison, Jimi Hendrix, John Lennon, Janis Joplin, two band members from the Allman Brothers, the Manson murders, which, by the way, may have been a covert CIA operation. Whistleblower Schlund suggests that Charles Manson was, in fact, a social experiment and that the CIA had not only been supplying drugs to the Manson family, but also funding their living. So just what kind of experiment? Was it a voice to skull experiment where they broadcast waves to a person's mind to program them to do something, such as murder? Manson may have been a CIA MK Ultra mind-controlled slave. He was in prison at the time they were known to be using inmates at Vacaville Prison in the MK Ultra experiment. Sharon Tate, who was killed in the Manson murders, her husband Roman Polanski was conveniently out of the country when the Manson murders happened. Polanski was later convicted of child rape, which occurred in 1977. And other accusers have stepped forward accusing him of child sexual abuse, but Hollywood still defends him. So back to Rita Coolidge. Is she MKUltra? She has dated MKUltras, and she has some murders near her. A guy that she dated before Christofferson later murdered his mother. And her sister was killed by her husband in a supposed murder-suicide. But maybe it was a double homicide done by the shadow government. After Coolidge and Christofferson got divorced, Coolidge described her marriage to Christofferson as volatile due to his alcoholism and infidelity. She revealed he was also emotionally abusive and would belittle her talent. He can't sing. Rita Coolidge can sing, and he was trying to destroy her self-esteem. Here he is in 1981, trotting around like he's a good single father. Who knows what he did to his daughter with Rita? In this picture from 1978, Christofferson sits with his two daughters, Tracy from his first marriage and Casey from his second. Always groping around the chest here reminds me of what Biden does. The stick she's holding, it reminds me of how abusers have their victims provide the stick to beat them with. He's groping Tracy on the hips. She's 16 years old and notice she's holding her hands in a handcuffed position. That reminds me of this depiction owned by Tony Podesta. This picture of Christopherson may have MK Ultra signaling in it. Here he is hanging around with his daughter Tracy like she's his wife. Would you just hang around with an apparent violent rapist? Fritz Springmeier wrote a book about the Illuminati. The Illuminati formula used to create an undetectable total mind-controlled slave. Is Tracy Christopherson an undetectable total mind-controlled slave? She always has the same perfect smile. Would you socialize with an apparent rapist? Here's the same perfect smile at age 20, just hanging out with Dad, going to a birthday party for Diana Ross. He uses her as a surrogate spouse. His daughter Casey recently did a violent video about killing an unfaithful, violent, and alcoholic husband and dumping his body. So if he did raise Casey, she probably got tortured and raped. It's a video about her father. According to Kathy O'Brien, Chris Christopherson is a rapist, a torturer, and he is also a sex slave owner. Here he is with his daughter Tracy and with Lisa Myers, who are close in age. Kathy herself was sold to Senator Byrd. Um, my father sold me into a government-sanctioned MK Ultra mind control in the 1960s in order he received immunity from prosecution for pedophilic abuse of me. Kathy says in her book she was forced to marry Alex Hewson for appearance sake. Earlier that month when I had been taken to Washington, D.C. for prostitution purposes, Bird informed me that I would actually be marrying him when I pledged my vows to Hewson. It is a covenant between the two of us, Bird said. It is me that you will honor and obey till death do us part. So Kathy was fake married to Alex Houston, while a slave to Senator Byrd, who was also sadistically torturing Kathy. Alex Houston acted as a handler. Kathy says a good friend of hers was also a slave, and she was owned by Christopherson. A good friend of mine who remains a victim to date was married to Christopherson on the night she wed her mind control handler, much the way I had married Byrd when I wed Houston. Christopherson's third wife is Lisa Myers. She was born in 1956. Kathy O'Brien was born in 1957. So they're from the same generation. Lisa Myers is 20 years younger than Christopherson. 
They married in 1983. They're still married in 2020, 37 years later. A little bit of face reading shows that Lisa Myers is a people pleaser. The story is that Christopherson met her at a gym. He said he borrowed a piece of equipment off her. What kind of equipment? A stun gun? Was this the case of a torturer having the victim provide the tool to be tortured with? This doesn't look to me like a woman who would be working out. It seems to me that the more likely story would be that he met Lisa Myers chained up at a military facility. So the question I have is, is Lisa Myers an undetectable, total, mind-controlled slave? She's always got the same smile on. There are no rumors about Christopherson's infidelity during his marriage. If she's a slave, she cannot speak out. And as Kathy O'Brien detailed, they can torture women to create obedient slaves who always appear happy to be undetectable, total, mind-controlled slaves. Lisa Myers is said to have gone to Pepperdine University. According to several reports, at the time of their wedding, Myers is an attorney. She studied law at Pepperdine University in Malibu. This appears to be a cover story because she does not appear to be a lawyer. If we go to the State of California Attorney Lookup site, there is no Lisa Myers. The only one with a close name and close possible graduation dates was Lisa D. Myerson. Right here. But she has a different name. Let's look at that record anyway. Lisa D. Myerson. It says she went to UCLA, not Pepperdine. On another search, we come up with a Lisa Helfenmeyer. But it says that she went to Loyola Law School, not Pepperdine. We do another search for Lisa Christopherson. Again, nothing comes up for a Lisa Myers Christopherson. She does not appear to be a lawyer, as the story claims. And very little is known about her early life and family. That is a very big red flag. She's got no background. She's not in law school, as they claim. No family. She had five kids, which is what the torture programs want. A lot of kids to torture. She marries a washed-up, failed country music singer who apparently owns a sex slave and rapes and tortures women. She stays with him nearly four decades when two previous wives and another sex slave left him. It's all very suspicious. Was she sold into sex slavery by her father like Kathy O'Brien's father did? They bought a house in Hawaii. Their neighbor was Chris's longtime friend, Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson is reputed to be a monarch slave handler. So when Chris is out of town, Willie Nelson could act as a handler for Lisa. These are women that Chris Christopherson supposedly dated. However, like Kathy O'Brien says, Christopherson is a torturer, rapist, and a slave runner. If any of these women are monarch slaves, Christopherson would be doing the same to these women as well. Let's look at some of these women. Barbara Streisand is known to be a monarch sex slave. Bryce Taylor is another escaped CIA monarch sex slave. She talks about her dealings with Streisand in her book. Bryce Taylor says she was forced to be a sex slave to Streisand as well as to many other public figures, many pictured on the front of her book. Bryce Taylor said she had seen Streisand at orgies. Of course, Barbara herself is a victim. I've seen her naked at Bob Hope's parties and at other places. I was even involved in group sexual orgies where she was participating. And at other times I was targeted to have sex with her one-on-one -on -one in order to deliver messages to her to keep her programming going or to instruct her on what to say at certain times. She is a mind-controlled robot. She did lots of cocaine at parties. She liked sex with women and usually requested it. I was sent to her often. Bryce Taylor talks about delivering a message to Streisand on a different occasion and how both of them were tortured afterwards with a stun gun. Like Lisa Myers, Bryce Taylor attended Pepperdine. This makes you wonder if Pepperdine is a CIA hotspot. Bryce talks about being used to stabilize Streisand, who regularly fell apart. I was used with Streisand most often in 85 to 87, during the time I attended Pepperdine University in Malibu. Before 1985, I was sent to her when she needed me in the evenings in Malibu. So if Barbara Streisand is a monarch sex slave, Christopherson would have been her handler, torturer, and rapist to her, like he was with Kathy O'Brien. Let's look at Jane Fonda, admitted CIA operative. 
Bryce Taylor said she was under mind control programming. Was she also tortured and raped by Christopherson? That I don't know. The mainstream media calls her heroic. But this site, FightingMonarch.com, written by an MK Ultra survivor, says the CIA used Fonda to encourage American soldiers to rape women. The CIA used her to incite sexualized hatred in American troops. Kathy O'Brien says the Red Rose is Illuminati signaling. Let's look at Janice Joplin. There is speculation she is a monarch slave. This is Joplin with Christopherson in 1970. Given his sadistic treatment of Kathy O'Brien, that lends support to her being a monarch slave that was tortured and raped by Christopherson as well. Another supposed dating relationship Christopherson had was with Joan Baez. Baez's father was in the military, a red flag. This site says that Joan was a famous survivor of the Cornell Mind Control Program. I couldn't find a picture of Christopherson and Baez, but I found this one from 1966, showing Baez with MLK, who she had an affair with. The FBI was secretly wiretapping MLK, obsessed with neutralizing him. In this picture, MLK has a man on a mission posture. He's going to bring black school children to be integrated to a white school, a very tense situation. But when we look at Joan Baez, look at that. She's got a glazed over look. These monarch slave robot women are often used as spies. Was Joan Baez a spy for the government against MLK? Was she an undetectable, total mind-controlled slave? This is Harry Belafonte, also believed to be a government operative. This looks like Joan making what's called a rock sign. Hitler did that, as did Gloria Stein, an admitted CIA agent. The rock sign is often used as Illuminati signaling. Here is Joan with Jesse Jackson, Ira Sandperl, MLK. Ira Sandperl is supposedly an anti-war activist. This note says that Sam Perel was Joan Baez's spiritual mentor. Here he is making a 666 hand sign, more Illuminati signaling. Was Ira Sam Perel a handler for Joan Baez? Dolly Parton is not cited as a supposed girlfriend of Christopherson, but she is rumored to be a monarch slave. I don't think this was affection here. If Christopherson was sadistically raping and torturing Kathy O'Brien, he would be doing the same thing to other MK Ultras. Dolly Parton's marketing uses a lot of monarchs, which are often used to signal the MK Ultra program. Singing was apparently a way to get out of the worst sadistic programming. Her song Jolene, about a woman who chased her husband, is said to be about one of her altars. Here's Dolly with the Mandrell sisters, who Kathy O'Brien says are CIA mind controlled victims. They were owned by Senator Byrd and their rapist father had sold them into mind-controlled sex slavery to avoid prosecution. Louise Mandrell's husband, R.C. Bannon, would have been her handler. Here's Loretta Lynn hugging Christopherson. Loretta Lynn was not reputed to be a girlfriend of Christopherson, but Kathy O'Brien says Loretta Lynn was a CIA mind control victim, owned by Senator Byrd like she was. Like Kathy, Loretta Lynn was presumably tortured and raped, used as a sex slave and for drug trafficking. Here's Loretta in a kitten position with her son. Loretta Lynn was born in 1936. Marilyn Monroe was born in 1926. Jane Fonda was born in 1937. These women would have been the first generation of monarch victims. Likely their programming started in 1945 when Nazi scientists came to the U.S. to work for the CIA thanks Operation Paperclip. Christopherson was born in 1936 and was likely part of this first generation of MK Ultra perpetrator programming. Joan Baez was born in 1941. Streisand was born in 42. Janis Joplin was born in 43. Rita Coolidge in 44. Dolly Parton in 46. Bryce Taylor in 47. These were probably second generation monarch victims. The Mandrell sisters. Kathy O'Brien, Lisa Myers were born in the 50s. They were probably the third generation or third cycle of this demonic system. With each successive generation or cycle of this torture programming, it must get worse. 
In 2020, we're about at the start of the 10th generation or 10th decade of this programming system. This is Gretchen Wilson. Now, granted, she doesn't have the fake perfect smile, and I didn't find anything online about her being MK Ultra, but that doesn't mean she isn't. Is this look on her face, the I can't stand being around him look, or is it you tortured me last night and I can't deal with you look? If it's true that all these people are undetectable total mind control slaves or their handlers, these are propaganda agents for a dark machine dictating to you what your culture will be. Refuse consent. This system is a matrix of dark energy that breaks apart each time another person refuses consent to it. Christopherson beat women. Fritz Springmeier, who wrote this book about the mind-controlled slaves, was wrongly imprisoned for seven years. The Illuminati do not want him speaking out about their system. Springmeier says there are a couple different types of Illuminati slaves. One type of slaves will usually have their genealogies hidden and will be created to have excellent cover life to ensure they are not detected. They will be given multifunctional programming and will usually be used to help program other slaves. The abuse will not be as physically visible as it will be on the bodies of slaves who are not born to be part of the Illuminati elite. Was this the case with Lisa Meyer? Another type of Illuminati slave are programmed individuals who are simply expendable. These are sex slaves who are used up and killed very early in life. One time use as saboteurs, breeders, soldiers, drug couriers, and so forth. The bodies of these people will often show visible torture scars. The expendable are the children of parents who were blackmailed into turning their children over to the CIA. This is all hidden by the power of the National Security Act. These are children who have been sold by pedophile fathers or pornographic parents. That would have been Kathy O'Brien and Bryce Taylor, but they escaped. Some children live in foster homes or with adopted parents or in orphanages or with caretakers and guardians. Because these children are at the mercy of the non-related adults, these types of children frequently are sold to become mind-controlled slaves of the intelligence agencies. Well, you know, Chris Christopherson had foster children. This Rolling Stone article references that. This article says he and Myers adopted three children from El Salvador. Their identities, however, are not known. I don't know whether that's true or not, but if so, that's another big red flag. Is Lisa Myers an undetectable, total, mind-controlled slave? No woman could put up with an apparent brutal rapist and torturer for 37 years. When Christopherson dies, that doesn't necessarily mean that Lisa will be free if she is a slave. One of her sons could be a secondary mind control handler, like Ernest Ray Lynn is for his mother, Loretta Lynn. So join me in placing the intention that the criminals are held to account and the victims and system busters are freed. Even if the criminals or victims have died, your prayers and intentions can still reach them. They exist as souls, and the divine world needs your requests and consent to help take down the dark system. It is the collective awareness and intent that the system be brought to a halt that is what will take it down. Stay tuned for more videos so these systems can be destroyed and thanks for joining in.